On Sunday, March 17th, Klamath Promise Neighborhood, in collaboration with Dirt and Glitter and Redwood Rides, hosted a community float Creekside Yoga practice. Redwood voice reporters were at the event, taking part in a bit of yoga, before heading down Elk Creek to enjoy some kayaking. While kayaking down Elk Creek, Adam Spencer of Redwood Rides explained the history of Elk Creek. From the early 1900s to the 1950s, the Elk Creek watershed was once used for timber harvest. After decades of usage from mill sites, Elk Creek's habitat, quality, and quantity for wildlife was severely cut. Over the course of decades, Elk Creek would begin to overgrow as public trails fell out of use, with people showing up less and less to see the historic site and its natural beauty. Both hosts for the event described the historic importance of Elk Creek and how both of them shared an appreciation for the area, hoping one day it could become a vital part of the community as a spot everyone is welcomed to enjoy. After the kayaking, Sebastian Monroe interviewed both hosts about their organizations and how Klamath Promise Neighborhood helps them. All right, so um, what, what's, uh, what's this program about that you're involved with? Klamath Promise Neighborhood is a uh, grant program that was awarded to the Yurok Tribe from the Department of Education and it's overall trying to uh, help students improve performance in a variety of metrics but it has a really holistic approach to a lot of that so where programs like Redwood Rides and Dirt and Glitter uh, come into play is helping kids with those hobbies, extracurricular activities that uh, engage them in ways that keep them from doing things that may negatively impact their academic performance. Um, and so what we do is a lot of like adventure, outdoor adventure type programs, outdoor recreation programming under Klamath Promise Neighborhood um, will involve a variety of different clubs, uh, adventure club, art club, production, uh, there's two other ones. <laughs> uh, do you have any insight on why you guys chose to go up Elk Creek today? Yeah, we chose uh, to take people paddling up this uh, spot because it's really kind of overlooked natural resource in our area. It's mostly thought of in terms of more of how it's a place where the unhoused population spends a lot of time, but it has a lot more potential than um, just a place that is for them. In uh, the last 25 years, there was a whole developed trail system here. You can still see remnants of uh, the old spots where there were signs telling people more information than I could today about the area and uh, old bridges going over some of the water features and so it's just like one of those kind of hidden gems of Crescent City that's really cool to point out to people. Yeah so I'm the artistic director for Dirt and Glitter which is an art adventure nonprofit. Um, so we do a lot of site-specific performances and site-specific education, site-specific events. Um, my background is in dance and performance, and I'm really interested in um, bridging the worlds of art and adventure. I think they both have a lot of capacity to open up our hearts and connect us to our bodies and our environment and each other. And so I've partnered with Adam and Redwood Rides a couple of times to do um, site-specific performances where the audience is in boats and paddles through the show and I've brought in performers and artists and to do those and I just made a big proposal with the Klamath Promise neighborhood I was encouraged to do so based on our the past events we've done with art and adventure youth camps to flush it out a bit more and offer um, a couple of different programs like a adventure club which 
Adam from Redwood Rides would lead, an art club, which Jessica Cherry, who was here today, who's an amazing visual artist and owns Wild and Free Art School would run. I would do a youth performance company focusing on site-specific performance. There'd be a production company, which would be awesome to work with folks like you, teaching students about um, audio and visual design, set design, costume design. And then there'd be like a movement club, which would just teach a lot of different movement modalities, martial arts, yoga, um, focusing on like movement that is sustainable since a lot of I think the things that are already available are more like sports that you usually do just when you're young so trying to focus on kinds of movement that people can take with them throughout their whole life and then a, um, a discussion group so that was the proposal was to do these six different kind of focus group clubs in some category of art or adventure and um, have those clubs kind of collaborate with each other to create events like I've been creating with professionals, but to have them eventually be youth-led events um, where the students are able to create the performances, um, guide the boats, do create the costumes, the music, the, you know, that whole thing. So that's the, the goal. And um, I'm hopeful that it happens. I think it'd be really great for the community to have um, more art and especially because we're in this beautiful environment to really celebrate all of these natural places and get people out in them through art and adventure. So yeah. Stay tuned for more coverage on the Klamath Promise Neighborhood Event Week. For Redwood Voice Community News, I'm Bryce Evans. For Redwood Voice, I'm Sebastian Monroe.